Hi everyone, my name's Stephen Watt and I've been invited by Hypercoaster Music to perform a poem for you uh, under the support slot scheme that they've come up with for people that are at home and watching these videos of musicians and poets uh, do some of their work. So I'm going to do a little poem about all those kind of wild superstitions which we all have. Um, some of them you may not be as familiar with because they come from countries like Cyprus and Bulgaria. Um, but listen out and see if there's any you recognise in yourself. This poem is called Molly Coddled Omens. It began innocently enough. A penny on a pavement guaranteed good luck until the neighbour's black cat crossed my path and, well, that was the end of that. Inside, my nerves shattered like mirrors. Tears became salty, so I threw them over my shoulder and tiptoed round ladders, knocked on wood, never whistled indoors. The devil would always hang fire. Haircuts on Tuesday stopped. It was insanity to wish someone happy birthday too early and itchy palms meant financial rot. I leapt in dog's dirt, kissed rabbit paws, touched my nose when friends and I said the same words, but I sensed full moons and owls hoot in my blood. Hiding my thumbs from graveyards, refusing to wear red and rampaging storms, I was cautious to never walk backwards and squeeze those toughened acorns which would keep me safe from harem. All magpies were saluted on my wedding day and the church bell would ward off evil but gifting my mother yellow flowers spelt trib trouble and nibbling on goat meat could cause her to grow stubble. So I snapped on turkey wishbones, never said cheers with water, insisted my sister yielded to pregnancy cravings or risk a fish head upon her baby daughter. And now I'm older, I've become softer. Open my arms to the child like an indoors umbrella. Then kiss her like a good luck charm. Wishing her like comets.